Friday, January 17th. I'm Holland Fleming and we have many stories to bring your way. But first we're going to go to Lance Sugars with Senior of the Week. I'm here with Eric Calderon and he's our Senior of the Week. So Eric, how long have you been coming to Asbury? I've been coming to Asbury since kindergarten. And what kind of clubs and activities are you involved in? Um, FFA, 4-H, Science Club, Spanish Club, and Choir. And what's your plans for after high school? Uh, I plan to go, go to college, but I'm really not sure what to major in yet. Alright, sounds good. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We got a Sierra Justice who's interviewing two students who took the mock trial in Miss Hancock's room. And then we're going to go to Hillary Davis for the Spanish 2 Jeopardy. I'm with Yanni and Corey, and they are seniors from Ms. Hancock's fifth period government class. And this week they are preparing for the mock trial they'll have next week. So, the trial is next week, so this week you have to prepare for it. What exactly do you have to do to prepare? Uh, we actually have to figure out uh, what case we're going to do and what evidence they have on the person that we're accusing. And we have to figure out a jury and all that. So each of you have a different job when it comes to the jury, right? Yes. Okay, so what are a few of the jobs that some of you will have to do? Well, uh, there has to be like the criminal, the accused, not really the criminal, just the accused. Uh, maybe lawyers, a judge, and jurors. So it's going to be just like a real court and you have to have two sides to each, like the, you know, yes. uh, two different gonna, arguments? Yes, we're going to have the uh, prosecuting lawyer and then the the defense lawyer for each for the accused and the one that filed against them. So are you going to pick picked at random when it comes to each specific job? Uh, yes, I guess we'll like whoever wants to be whatever part they want to be, then that's what they'll do. So you haven't decided on what your case is yet. You're just preparing for or uh, doing research on what it is. We will we'll probably like uh, interview the jurors to Woo! see who would uh, judge for the accused. Oh, so you're, are you enjoying the project? Uh, I am. Yeah. I, I believe Corey is too. I would say so. It's pretty are y'all learning anything particularly interesting? Well, we're learning how a judge picks who, if they go to jail, and if they, what their sentence and some of that, so it's pretty interesting. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Bye. Josie Pelham interviewing the homecoming queen. And then we'll go to Madeline, who will give you some advice. I'm here with Summer Stevens, who was crowned our homecoming queen last Friday night at the game against Bob. So, Summer, once they finally called the name and you heard that it was yours, how did it make you feel? Well, I was surprised because I didn't think I was going to get it, but I was very happy. All right, and this year, Sabrina Bearden, who was the queen last year, came back to crown you. Do you plan to do that next year? Yes. All right, well, congratulations. I'm here with Mr. Brock, and he's going to give us some advice. So, Mr. Brock, with the new year, how do you, what's the easiest way for us to keep our New Year's resolutions? Well, the easiest way is to make a resolution in which you can actually fulfill. Um, if you make a resolution, something, I don't know, I'm going to do this this year, but there's no possible way you can do this. Like, if I made the resolution, hey, I'm going to go to London, England this year. No, I'm not. I don't have the money. Don't make resolutions that you know you're not going to be able to keep. So that's the key to keeping a resolution is making sure that, you know, you could actually do it. The second part of it is to remind yourself, maybe make a note on the mirror in your bathroom or on the mirror in your bedroom or on your phone where it pops up every day and just remind you not to do or to do the thing that you had planned to do this year. So that's the two things I think would be the easiest way to help you keep resolutions. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. We have Hannah Gruber with Dress for Success, then we'll go to Nicole Samples interviewing Isaac Dollar and later you'll have Lee with What's New in the Library. Today is Dress for Success Wednesday, <laughs> and Yanni Calderon is one of the many students who participated. So Yanni, could you explain to us your attire? Uh, yeah, I'm wearing a plaid button-up shirt with khakis and my favorite polos. That's nice. Um, and in your opinion, do you think that dressing successful is the only step needed to be taken toward being successful? Um, I believe it is an important step, but it's not the only step. Other important steps that you should take to being successful is uh, putting effort into uh, whatever it is you're trying to achieve and being persistent with it. That's good advice. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Isaac, and he's a seventh grade boys basketball player. So, who was your last game against? We played the Westburg Warriors, and we don't want to lose. We lost by six points. Was it still fun? Yeah, it was fun to play. Have y'all improved? We improved. 
I think we improved a lot because last game that we played, we lost by a lot more than six points. How many points was that? I'm not sure. Okay. Thank you. Today I'm here with Ms. Sharp and she's going to tell us what's been happening with the library recently. Uh, so we've got several new books in. Um, I'll show you a couple of things. This is the book that the middle school book club is going to be reading. It's called Wonder. And this is a great, this is one of the best books I read this summer. It's about a boy that has a facial deformity. And uh, a lot of the high school students that are in the book club are through with the uh, book club. And so I'm opening these up that if anyone wants to read Fifth Wave, I have some of those available. And um, we do have some other new books. Of course, they're all out right now. But if you will come in and look on our circulation, we, there's a place that says new arrivals and there will be a list of them. So this is showing about 15 books right now. But uh, probably the only other thing is I have applied for a grant asking for some money to um, have some AR prizes. And so students that have been reading this year and have already accumulated some AR points, hopefully they'll qualify for some prizes. Sounds awesome. Okay, that's about it for right now. Christian Tanner with the AP Mock Exam, and then we'll go to Amber Acko interviewing Karina Ickes. Hey, I'm Christian Tanner, and I'm here with Cody Templeton, who took the AP Mock Exams for uh, English. Um, so, how were they? I was horrible. It was horrible. Yeah, I, I think it was too. We had to get up at 8 o'clock on Saturday, <laughs> so don't do it. <laughs> so, what were the questions about? Language. Yeah. It was horrible. <laughs> Did you know most of it, or was it all a surprise to you? It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you for your time, man. No problem. I'm here with Karina, and she's a junior high basketball player. So, Karina, when was y'all's last game? Saturday. Uh, how'd you do? Good. So, y'all won? Yes. How many points did you score? None. Are you going to do better next time? Yeah. Okay, thank you. This is going to be interviewing Coach Pelham, and then we'll go to Alicia with the 8th grade boys basketball. I'm here with Coach Pelham. Coach, after nine years of being a varsity program, never beaten section before they finally came in here on our home floor and we beat them. How do you think that it was having Ozzy back, having the leadership of a point guard or what really gave us the edge this time that we hadn't had in the past? Well we're playing better basketball with him in the lineup just because it makes us a little bit more fluid offensively uh, but uh, you know we played a good basketball game the other night, played a good basketball team and in the nine years that I've been here I don't think uh, there's been a year that section had been in the top ten. Uh, that we played them. We haven't played them all nine years because uh, we remained 1A for three years when they were 2A. And then when we made the jump to 2A, we went through the transition of moving up to 2A before we were competitive for a year. And they had already made that transition. So uh, the, the, the nine years of varsity isn't necessarily losing the section every year. We, we played them probably uh, five years. Uh, it just seems to be a little glaring because we played them in the regional finals one year and, and got beat that year. That was the first year we had a varsity program. And then we went for about three or four years where we didn't play them. So uh, this is a good win, but uh, this one coming Friday night against North Sound Mountains is just as important. So, And ha after beating section, how do we set an area? Uh, we're tied for first right now and uh, have an opportunity to host the area tournament. Uh, it's been a five or six years since we hosted the area tournament. Uh, so uh, we need to go up there and take care of business. And you're getting closer to the end of basketball season. How are you preparing to get a good push into postseason this year? Well, we played an extremely tough schedule. Uh, our record's not indicative of how good we actually are. Uh, we went over to Fort Payne and played some larger schools. And uh, of course we play Westbrook twice and they're ranked third in the state right now too. And, uh, so we, we play a very tough, schedule so hopefully that's going to prepare us going into postseason. Alright, thank you guys. Alright man. here with Alan Templeton and he's going to tell us about the game tonight. Where do y'all play? We're playing against Pretty Mountain. How do you think you're going to do? We're going to do good. And is this y'all's last season game of the year? Yes, so far. But then we got a tournament tournament. Are you excited about that? Yeah. Alright, well hope you do good. Okay, thank you. Thanks. We'll go to Woodrow with one of the students of the quarter, and then we'll go to Elizabeth with her game. I'm here with Winchell of Fortune, and he's going to tell us about how to be student of the quarter. So, Winchell, how does it feel to be student of the quarter? It feels really good, actually, because you feel like we're going to 
others, yes. Oh, uh, what'd you get for being for to the quarter? You got to eat small corn. Oh. And I heard you can speak French, okay? You tell us something in French. Yeah. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Guys, this week's game is called Watch My Lips. In the game, one person will say something without moving their lips, and then the other person has to guess what they're trying to say. I am a string cheese and not straight cheese. <laughs> string <laughs> cheese is my oh my gosh, string cheese is my favorite. String fish. <laughs> <laughs> string cheese is my favorite. String cheese is my favorite. <laughs> I play with Barbie dolls on the weekend. You play with Barbie dolls on the weekend? Nope. Uh, yeah. Oh. Your shirt is a rug. <laughs> well, my shirt is a jug. My shirt is a jug. <laughs> oh, my yeah, shirt is a dog. My shirt is a dog. My shirt is a dog. Your ass shirt is a dog. My ass shirt is a dog. Your best friend is a dog. Yes. <laughs> Roland with a new segment called Meet Your W Rams and then we'll go to Isaiah Saragon interviewing Ian Downer and Trent Ramsey about making pins. Okay, we're here with Roland and this is a new segment we're gonna call Meet Your W Rams. Roland, first question. Put your iTunes on shuffle. What song comes up? Okay, let's see here. Oh okay. Shuffle. Time of dying, three days grace. Awesome. Second what chore do you hate doing? Uh, I really hate taking out the trash. It stinks. <laughs> Wonderful. Third, if you won the lottery, what is the first thing you'd do? I would buy an Aston Martin. Okay. Four, what would you name the autobiography of your life? Um, this one's a hard one, but I think uh, I would name it The Complexity of Intelligent Mind. Awesome. And the four, fifth one, what is something you learned in the last week? Um, I definitely learned that... Let's see. Uh, Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, is from Auburn University. All right, War Eagle. So what are you doing? I'm sanding it down, making it smooth right now. I'm making the pins up. What? I'm here with Ian Downer. He's going to tell us how to make a pin. Well, we're making this uh, ink pen in ad class. We started with this. We're going to cut it in half and drill a hole through the middle. Then after that, you're gonna do a few other little steps, and then it's gonna look like this. This one's mine. You have it down in the lathe. I'm about to start signing it. After that, a few other pin things, and you'll have an ink pen. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, there's a varsity and junior varsity basketball game tonight at Roseanne Mountain, and this concludes this week's broadcast. I'm here. I'm here with Mr. Brock, and he's going to give us the back. So, the, the, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, guys. This week, the game. I sound like a little weird. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> no. She'll edit it out. Yeah, well. Just go. It's just easier if I'm... Favorite person in the world. It sucks because you edit. So. Today is Friday, January 17th. Gross. Trusting you. Trust. Trust. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs>